Hello, it's 9th of July 2018 and I've just paddle boarded to Pud Pudcombe Cove um, along the South Devon coast between Kingsway and Brixham and Pudcombe Cove has an interesting story um, as you can see it's only really accessible now via the water which is ideal for paddle boarding but this used to be the private beach of the house above Colleton Fishacre which was owned by the O'Doyle family and um, this private beach used to have steps down concrete steps which you can see have collapsed now and it had a tidal pool over here so in the 20s or something like that I think the O'Doyles were here they would be um, sipping G and T's I guess and uh, enjoying this view and there's some gorgeous cliffs here this time of year you've got some really lush greens as well the trees are in leaf and there's some quite interesting natural arches and caves on the coast here so it's nice to actually visit this beach the National Trust own uh, Colleton Fishacre house above so maybe one day they will um, repair the steps so visitors can come down to the beach, which would be good. But at the minute you've got to get a boat here or a paddleboard, where you could always swim round from the coast if you're a good swimmer. And I've just paddleboarded from Kingswear, launched at the uh, RDYC, the yacht club down there, the slip, slip, slip road there, and paddled round. It was really hard work getting out of Kingswear, quite a bit of wind against me. But when I got round the headland, um, it's pretty calm and ideal conditions for paddleboarding now. Pretty flat as you can see. Obviously not ideal if you want to surf the paddleboard with waves, but good for exploring the coast. And I hope to get some photos of some of these beautiful beaches hidden along here. Next one along I want to have a look, look at Ivy Cove. And then there's a, a nice little hidden beach just before you get to Scabbicum, which is interesting. Yeah. Useful sucker thing to fit on the front of my uh, starboard whopper, and uh, then you don't have to have your waterproof bag on your back. So I've got some food, drink, towel in there, which is all useful when you're going on a long paddleboard. I mean, this go this uh, starboard whopper is not really a touring paddleboard as such, but it seems to do all right with it. I do some good distance. And it's a good stable board. So here we are leaving Pudcombe Cove. 7th of, 9th of July 2018. We're up, we're
the day at low tide to get the best of this beach, but it's quite a fine. And there's a little pointed seagull here, I think. It's all right, mate. I won't eat you. I'm vegan. So here I am at a secret beach along the uh, South Devon coastal path between Kingsway and Brixham. It's not too far, it's um, just before Scabicum on the Kingsway side, this beach. And it's interesting, it? it's got these caves and waterfalls coming down. There's a nice waterfall there. Now, obviously it'd be good to get here when the sun's above the beach and when the beach is more lower tide and there's more beach here then. But it's, uh, I'll get you, give, give you an idea of the place. Ah. Oh. There's a little seagull injured there, unfortunately. Right. Just exploring through this hole here. to come back try and get it earlier in the day so the sun is on the beach and more beach is exposed on a lower tide but you can get a bit of an idea of it it's a gorgeous place obviously lower tide you've got more beach to, um, to rest on and here's the second waterfall Obviously this might be quite an impressive one if you come here after heavy after heavy rains and obviously it'd look better with the sun with the sun on it more. But still South Devon waterfall, secret waterfall between Kingsway and Brixham. Yeah, this is a gorgeous spot. Definitely worth a visit on the paddleboard or whatever waterborne transport you can uh, you enjoy. And uh, it's pretty awesome having the water coming over with the lush green. Some flowers there. It's July now, so there's a lot of life in them. Um, the nature and the, the uh, foliage and um, fauna along the coastal path and the water's nice and warm. So right, I think I'll carry on to Scabicum now, have some lunch on Scabicum or Lung Sands. He's obviously injured. It's a shame because you get all the um, plastic obviously getting washed in to these beaches. So, I mean, it'll get washed out again in the high tide, but it'd be good to do a beach clean here. If we could take some boats around and do that or paddleboard. I did see some girl doing some beach cleans inland in Scotland or somewhere. Anyway, right, onto the board and to uh, the next beach. Here I am at Long Sands, gorgeous stretch of beach. Just past Scabicum. Looks a bit too shallow for cliff jumping. Here I'm at Lung Sands, 
paddle boarded out here. Gorgeous day, gorgeous beach. Might be able to jump in from here, but I'm not sure about the depth. So I'll give it a miss today. And a little, little duck walking along in front of me, not phased by me, seagulls, oh, that duck's cute, that's one of the lucky ducks that's not on the factory farm, can live a normal life. So it'd be good if all of the creatures in the world were free to live a natural life, to, to feel the sun and the, the water, the elements, the seasons. And that's why going vegan will make this world a better place for everyone, raise our consciousness and help create helps create a paradise on earth and um, many sages and spiritual teachers have taught this in the past to abstain from eating animals and that the paradise people won't eat animals I think the Buddhist tradition of Shambhala there is uh, people, people are um, vegan and in the um, the Hebrew scriptures and uh, the New Testament even it talks about uh, there would be no bloodshed on the holy mountain and, um, the, the, the animals will eat plants as well but you can see the negative effects on the world from eating animals the karma, the wastefulness of resources and um, strain on resources causing war. We got uh, causing environmental problems, pollution, and uh, contributing to the greenhouse gases. So all this karma can be seen, and we can reverse a lot of the problems by switching to a vegan diet. And the good thing is, the encouraging thing, it looks like it is happening, and that's why vegan activism's vegan activists try and speed up this process but there's a lot of issues in the world that are also important we need to, uh, us to put attention into so here I am just leaving lung sounds Heading back to Kingshead now. 